Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some of these hanging uh, plant holders. Um, they're very easy to make, sort of similar to macrame, but much easier. And it's really all about bringing the outdoors in. So if you haven't got any outdoor space, it's a way of doing it. It's also sort of you're hanging stuff vertically. So that's so much easier. You might not have a lot of uh, other space to put things. Okay, so first of all, you need just a random glass jar of any size and shape. Um, I'll show you how it, you can make stuff fit in anything. Okay, then you need to decorate the jar. Now, if you see on these two, I've done layers of paint. Now, it's just ordinary acrylic paint that I've mixed a little bit of PVA glue in and um, painted them. Uh, obviously, in order to get the drippy bit, I've done it, um, made it a slightly more liquid. It does take a little while. It took a few days to do these because you have to do them in layers so they dry. But, I mean, it's quite fun to do. Um, you could just do one layer of paint. Um, you could do a fancy pattern like I've done here or attempted to. I've got a bit of sellotape over it so you, that's how you get the straight lines on it. Well, if you haven't got paint, um, I used uh, marking pens, permanent markers, Sharpies, um, and that's re worked really well, actually. I quite like that one. I think it's really sweet. So, um, or you could just use a plain glass, a plain glass jar if you really haven't got anything. Um, you know, that's not a problem at all. Okay, so first of all, you need to... Uh, do your hanging arrangement. Now what I've done here is I've got two pieces of string or wool or whatever you've got in the house um, and I've tied an, a knot right in the middle. So this is the slightly tricky bit. So you place your um, glass jar on the knot and you try and make arrangements so that there's kind of at right angles and then you bring them up like this where am I yeah <laughs> I said it's a slightly tricky bit uh, you bring them up together I mean it's more or less like that okay now you've got them there okay and then you get another piece of string and you've got to tie it round the neck oops <laughs> I have to be honest when I did this the other one I actually held it in my teeth which I think I'm going to do <laughs> no oops no that didn't work either right anyhow we get there so bring them up bring them up bring them up I could say get someone else to help you but obviously if you're if it's just you it's a tricky ah there we are that works this time so literally just do that okay so we've got the first thing then you can arrange them a little bit better So that they're not all close together like that brilliant so now you hold them up and you do a knot okay and then you need some more string um just to wrap now what i did then was i tied around the the vertical ones so that you do get better purchase so I've tied a few knots pulling it tight because obviously this is the bits and you don't want this to be falling so you pull it tight and then Wrap it round a few more times until you've got it nice and secure. Good. 
There we are. So that is the fiddly bit. But it's a lot less fiddly than macrame, which is a skill I'd love to acquire but haven't. Okay, so now you need to put a plant in. Now this is quite a narrow um, jar. It's actually a pasta sauce jar. So you think, oh, now I tried a couple of different plant pots and it wouldn't fit in. And again, this one was a bit wider, but so this one, I'll try and take it out, is a, a water bottle. So it's really easy. So what you've done, I've just put some grit in the bottom for and cut some holes in because it's all about drainage. That's why you can't part, put directly into the jar. Um, otherwise the plants will rot. So a bit of grit, a few stones, some soil, and this was a ivy that I'd been rooting for ages. You might remember that I had it on my windowsill in the kitchen that I showed you when I was talking about propagating. So you don't even need fancy plants, a bit of ivy from anywhere. Okay, now what I've done with this one is I prepared something earlier. <laughs> A cat food sachet <laughs> now obviously it's cleaned out really well um, again it's got some holes in the bottom for drainage it's got a little few stones some grit and some soil and this is just a succulent that I had uh, again I just they're always sprouting so I've just took some of that and I stuck that in and the great thing about this is it's squeezable so there we are that looks fab I'm really happy with that so you've got there that's your again hanging basket um, now this I prepared earlier as you say and uh, this is a again a, a drink bottle same story holes grit and again this is nice because it's squashable and that's just going in that jar and that's just a hen and chicken um, so I'll be doing um, the string bit in a minute because <laughs> that's the fiddly bit because you, you get the idea about how that works. So there we go. Um, some other ideas um, if you can't access plants is this is a lovely tall bottle and I've just literally tied some string around the neck of it and I've had some cow parsley from my walk. And this, I'm going to actually show you because I think this looks fab. I've actually hung this on a nail on my wall. And again, if you don't have lots of surfaces or your wall looks boring. And that's what we've got there. So I think that looks really effective. Um, so all sorts of ideas, vertical, gardening using your windows I'm not going to go and hang this back at my window and I think that looks really pretty good so uh, that's it hopefully uh, some more ideas will keep coming and have a lovely weekend everyone bye